Thanks a lot, guys. A fantastic performance, as they've already said. And you can see Gamut there enjoying uh, what is a deserved reception from yep. the crowd. Of course, they're not just hometown heroes here. As Demon said, six on the bounce right now. Won every game here this weekend. And I have to say, I've not seen Darian looking that happy. I don't think ever. And I've certainly never seen him playing to the crowd as he has been and as he is continuing to do there. They are in their element right now. And you know what? On the back of that game as well, the way that they did that, they've won 3-0 and this weekend. They've won six games in a row. They've been doing... You know, they've been soaking up this atmosphere. They've been soaking up the local crowd. And I, I think they're just loving it. I think the fact that they're, they're here, they're, they're really playing up to it. And, and, you know, it's great to see. Yeah, and this was a different Gambit coming out again here, I think. I mean, we, we already talked many, many times about how the crowd can influence this team yeah. uh, overall. And they have influence. And there's yep. no doubt about that one. Right from the get-go here, Gambit really went in and they weren't messing around. And you, you heard Arunea saying it earlier during the interview. He was even saying, look, it wasn't us that lost the game. He said, <laughs> it was you guys that beat us. It was we're playing. They made no mistakes. And, you know, we, we were talking about heavily. Even when MYM have lost games, Charu has performed well. Yeah. And he did not play well. I think it was 0 5 or 0 6 7 towards the end of that game. He just simply wasn't in it. No, and that just that just showed in the whole performance, I think, there towards the end from Meet Your Makers. Missed taunts, miss yep. this, miss that. Varus Ultimates. Varus Ultimates with, yeah, and it just wasn't the meaty makers that no. were, that we've become, uh, become used to seeing now, and as as we rightly pointed out, third position is something to be very proud of at this yep. stage from a, from a new team into the LCS, but this was a bit of a beat down from Gambit. It was, and I don't actually want to beat around the bush too much. Yep. Let's jump into a replay quickly before we head over to the main stage. It's about 25 minutes into the game, and basically this just sums up the entirety of the match. As you see Gambit moving forward, you don't see this level of plays outside of anyone other than alternate. The Ash Arrow comes down, Crescendo locks up three people, and Gambit just focuses one target after the other. Libic is going to, you know, the seconds are falling. Basically, this is Gambit just saying, we don't care that you're on the inhibitor turret. We don't care where you are. We're going to focus you down. Charu tries to get away with that Sanguine Pool and just gets popped the moment he comes up. And that happened over and over and over and over throughout the entirety of the game. Yeah, the, the replay itself is not really that impressive without seeing you know, all the other yes. times that Gambit did that together. Because that's the key. It that happens is so key. many times. Yeah, and it's a, really an incredible performance from uh, Gambit here. and They kind of had that dodgy start as well to the spring split and we yeah. know how that went on from they went on and Darker, I really want to talk about him as well here because he ended 0-1-12 and the time that he died, he almost took one with him yeah, as he, well with he that decided crescendo. to recommit and if it wasn't for the Blade of the Rune King active sitting on Michaelis Varus, he would have managed to pick it up but I think he hit three and four man crescendos in almost every single time. You could see the moment the call came in from Gambit of go, of fight or yeah. defend, whatever it was, instantly put it down and it was just really really well played genja you know the man at his side here in that duo lane 308 with his ash once again and just showing that ash is definitely an option here yeah. we've seen him play a couple of times now candy panda brought ash out as well a little bit to lesser success yeah. i think we can say that uh what genja's brought to the table here in this one but gambi as we've uh, talked about they've had a you know a transition period here they're replaced Quite frankly, one of, if not the best support player in Europe. Obviously, that's to be debated, yep. but definitely one of the best support players. And bringing a player in there that's talented, without a doubt, but has got no experience whatsoever on yeah. the big stage. Yeah, one of the things that's so scary is that presence that he has to fill. And I really uh, am impressed by Darker's performance here on Sona. I've been touting his Zyra throughout the course of last weekend and this weekend, and now he's showing, hey, I can do with Sona too, guys. I'm, I'm pretty OP on some of these other champs.